Hi, I'm Grace. From Virtual Fitness TV. Walking 1,000 or more steps a day is good for many things. This video is designed to have a natural virtual walk in the world's most beautiful locations. You can simply just walk in front of the TV, move the couch if you have to, and simply follow the step counter to reach the 1,000 steps. Enjoy our virtual run through some of the most beautiful places in Thailand. Welcome to Bangkok, the capital of Thailand. The city has about 10 million inhabitants and thus is the most populous city of the country. It is the capital of Thailand since 1782. The origin of the name Bangkok is still unclear. In Thai, Bang means a village on a stream and Ko means island, so it could be that the name derives from the water landscape. The city has 50 districts, which are arranged by district code, ranging from 1 to 50. Bangkok is situated along the Chow Phraya River, which is the major river in Thailand. The river is 372 kilometers long. Bangkok is very important for the economics of Thailand, with wholesale and retail trade being the largest sectors. Here you have a wonderful view over Bangkok from high above. Enjoy the short fly over the city to see the skyline. Did you know that more than 23 million tourists travel to this wonderful city? Bangkok is a city with many canals. The city also has the nickname Venice of the East. There are more than 400 temples in Bangkok. In Bangkok temples are called what? This is an example of a temple complex here in Bangkok. Aren't the temples beautifully designed?
Here you can see the Wat Arun, it is a Buddhist temple in Bangkok Yai district. It is one of Thailand's top landmarks. Wat Arun is located on the river's western band, so you can best enjoy the temple from a canal cruise. Wat Arun is named after Aruna, the Hindu god of dawn. Did you know that the temple is more than 300 years old? Did you know that around 95% of the people in Thailand are Buddhist? Interesting is that in Thailand there is the world's largest solid gold Buddha. Bangkok has the world's largest Chinatown with more than 1 million Chinese people. Enjoy wonderful temples. Did you know that Bangkok street food is legendary? Enjoy our virtual run along the river and listen to the sounds of the water, it is so relaxing. Marvel at the bustling city with gorgeous parks and modern skyscrapers. Did you know that Bangkok has many parks which are open to public? There are ancient trees, large ponds, wonderful vegetation, and impressive statues. While the letting alphabet has 26 letters, in Thai there are 76 letters. In the Thai language there are also five tones, so it is really hard to learn the Thai language if you come from Europe, for example. Here you see what Phrake, the temple of the Emerald Buddha. Not many people know that Thailand was called Siam until the year 1939, hence the famous Siamese cats are also originated in Thailand. In Thailand you find more than 40,000 temples.
Did you know that the orchid is the national flower of Thailand? You can see this exotic flower in many shopping centers, markets, or temples. Enjoy the statue King Rama VI at the entrance of the Lumfini Park. The park was named after the birthplace of Lord Buddha in Nepal. One more interesting fact. Most Thai people have two names, their full official name and their nickname. Thai nicknames are chosen by the parents at birth. Marvel at the wonderful skyline of this amazing city. This is Ayutthaya. The city Ayutthaya is located on an island and has about 50,000 inhabitants. Interesting is that the city is named after a city in India, which is called Ayodhya. Ayodhya is the birthplace of Rama, who is a deity of Hinduism. The city Ayutthaya was founded in the 14th century. It is said that in the 18th century, there lived about 1 million people in the city, so it was one of the largest cities of the time back then. Did you know that Ayutthaya was the ancient capital of Siam? Unfortunately, in 1767, the city was destroyed and burned to the ground. At the exact same spot, where the city used to be, there was never a rebuilt of the city, as after the attack in the 18th century, the inhabitants were forced to leave the city. Ayutthaya is about 64 kilometers away from Bangkok. The city has three seasons, the hot season, which lasts from March to May, the rainy season, which is from June to October, and the cool season, which lasts from November to February. The average temperature is about 30 degrees Celsius. However, nowadays there are still many ruins of the old city, which you can find in the Ayutthaya Historical Park. The city as we know it nowadays can be found a few kilometers away from this park. In 1991, Ayutthaya became part of the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage List. The Thai government is currently trying to renovate the city. Let us head to Chiang Mai, which is the largest city in the north of Thailand. The city means new city in Thai and was founded in the year 1296.
Chiang Mai is about 700 kilometers north of Bangkok. The city of Chiang Mai is surrounded by mountains. Doi Inthanon is the highest peak in the country and reaches about 2,500 meters. It is part of the Himalayas. The city of Chiang Mai has about 127 inhabitants. Most people in Chiang Mai speak Thai, however many older people also speak Northern Thai. Chiang Mai has many spots where you can enjoy the nature, whether it is in the city or nearby. There are about 50 national parks nearby, such as the Doi Inthanon National Park or the Doi Suthep Pui National Park. Marvel at the Big Golden Buddha Statue Chiang Mai city area has over 300 Buddhist temples. The climate in Chiang Mai is tropical savanna climate. The average temperature is about 30 degrees Celsius all year round. The highest temperature that was recorded in the city was 42 degrees in May in 2005. An interesting fact is that Chiang Mai Zoo is the oldest zoo in northern Thailand. Other activities that can be done in Chiang Mai is shopping. There is a famous night bazaar for local arts. There are also many other markets such as Pantip Plaza, where you can go shopping. Seventy percent of Chiang Mai is covered by mountains and vegetation. Now we are back in Bangkok. Let us have a look at these wonderful city at night. Enjoy your run through Bangkok at night with its illuminated temples, it is breathtaking. Only a few more minutes to go. Take your time to enjoy the wonderful spots that Thailand has to offer. The illuminated city of Bangkok from high above looks magical. This marks the end of our quick tour through some of the most beautiful places in Thailand. We saw Bangkok, some wonderful spots of Chiang Mai, and also Ayutthaya. We hope you enjoyed this quick trip with us.
and that we will see you next time. Please subscribe to our channel for the best virtual content.